W5. That is a massive catastrophic water main break. Do aging pipes pose a threat to our drinking water? People who are drinking it now will affect them 40 years from now. We're talking about lethal fiber in your water. Those pipes are buried underground. Nobody knows about them. And the more dangerous the subject, the more tension that gets built. Can comedy stand up to a changing culture? There's two flashpoints. The flashpoints are race and sex. I guess I thought it was funny at the time. And what do you say to those who feel upset? Lighten up. Here is Avery Haynes. Welcome to W5. We know that asbestos is deadly when inhaled, but what if it ends up in the water you drink? There are thousands of asbestos pipes delivering drinking water to towns and cities right across Canada. Eric Sito investigates how much of the toxic material is lurking in your taps and the potential dangers of drinking it. Asbestos is a lethal carcinogen one of the most insidious that we know of. It causes cancer. Underneath the snow-covered Regina roads lies hundreds of kilometers of water pipe. And they're made with something that may surprise you, asbestos. This neighborhood is the worst in the city for asbestos cement water pipe breaks. Because they're snapping like twigs. And what happens when pipes break? the asbestos goes into the water. Asbestos cement pipe breaks are now happening so frequently in Regina. So this is uh, the actual site of the break. Former journalist turned activist Julian Branch believes the city's tap water is no longer safe to drink. The, the hole was from about here to here. That is a massive catastrophic water main break. It was a sinkhole. To think of all the asbestos that would have been getting into the water. Well, think about the asbestos in the water and think about the asbestos that accumulated in this intersection. So yeah, these, these pipes are a huge concern. I am absolutely concerned about the harm that these pipes may pose to the health of thousands of people. Canada is supposed to have some of the safest, cleanest drinking water in the world. Does it? Certainly not out of our asbestos cement water pipes. Our, our lakes look beautiful, our mountain lakes look pristine, moraine lake, I love that picture. But no, the water coming out of our pipes, I certainly have my concerns. Asbestos possesses rare qualities for which it stands alone. Asbestos was once considered a miracle mineral. Archival footage from the late 50s showed how it was relied upon for its fireproofing and insulating properties. Asbestos helps beautify the home with colorful vinyl asbestos floor tile. Tough asbestos fiber protects them against wear. Flooring, household appliances, there was no shortage of uses. But millions of asbestos workers got sick. Those tiny dust fibers were poisonous and when inhaled would often lead to fatal respiratory problems decades later. Dr. Irving Selikoff made that initial discovery in the 60s. It can cause cancer. One out of every five dies of lung cancer. But the asbestos industry knew it was lethal decades before and covered it up. Yes, products of asbestos fiber make an important contribution to practically every phase of our lives. Asbestos was also used for pipes. And when drinking water comes out sparkling clear, an asbestos cement pipe may have helped guard it from reservoir to home. Asbestos cement pipes were popular for their supposed durability and low cost. They're still used to deliver drinking water to millions globally today. But in many parts of the world, the UK, New Zealand, here in Canada, as these pipes fail, there are serious questions about the long-term impacts of drinking water from these pipes. I am concerned that uh, people can get cancer from the ingestion, including through asbestos cement water pipes. 
Arthur Frank is a physician and professor of public health at Drexel University in Philadelphia. He spent his entire career studying the impacts of asbestos on human health. People are most aware of the fact that it'll cause lung cancer, but we are constantly getting more and more evidence, some of it going back 50 years, but more and more evidence that it can cause uh, gastrointestinal tract cancers. Asbestos is ending up in our GI tract through ingestion, yes. potentially through the drinking of water as well with asbestos in it. Indeed. Unlike inhalation, it's still not clear whether drinking water with asbestos can be lethal. But a growing body of research suggests ingesting the fiber could elevate the risk of stomach and other gastrointestinal cancers. Here we have evidence in a human colon cancer case that asbestos bodies get in there and asbestos fibers can be found in such tissue. Here we have evidence of fibers in human esophageal tissue, and this is in a cancer of the esophagus case. Uh, here we have evidence of a, an asbestos fiber in a human tissue. It's actually from the liver of a stillborn baby. This right here, I think, really highlights just how pervasive asbestos can be when you get into your body. The fibers can get everywhere. Is there a safe limit for the amount of asbestos that should be in drinking water? Basically, there is no safe level of an exposure to a cancer-causing agent. We know from uh, exposures to asbestos that as little as one day in both animals and humans can cause cancer. That said, uh, there's been so little study about drinking water and certainly very little in humans. And what should the goal be here for? The goal exposure? should be as little as possible. Even though our own National Research Council said in a report asbestos fibers in drinking water could pose a hazard of malignant tumors of the gastrointestinal tract, Health Canada stated there is no consistent, convincing evidence it's harmful. And because of this, there's actually no limit to the amount of asbestos that can be in Canadian water. So is there asbestos in Canada's water? Before we could figure that out, we needed to find out where these pipes were. The federal government said it doesn't have a database of asbestos cement or AC pipes. So we did our own digging. We reached out to over 100 municipalities across the country, from Nanaimo, BC, to St. Catharines, Ontario, to Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. Roughly 90% of the places that responded were still using asbestos cement pipes. Some places had a kilometer of pipe. Here in Regina, there's over 500. And in recent decades, thousands of ruptures. And despite testing for years, the city claims it has never found asbestos in its water. I find that hard to believe with the number of asbestos cement water pipe breaks that we have that there is no asbestos in Regina water. So do you drink your tap water? I have not had a drink out of the tap since I discovered this in 2012. Julian says in some cases, local officials don't even refer to these pipes as asbestos cement. He feels this is deceptive city always uses the word concrete. And why do you think they do that? Because they don't want people to know about asbestos cement. It's as simple as that. He's tried warning officials at all levels of government, but says it's fallen on deaf ears. Is it an, an out of sight, out of mind issue? Well, that's exactly what it is. And it's exactly that way for politicians. It's the perfect situation for them because those pipes are buried underground. Nobody knows about them and nobody knows they're asbestos cement. Who, who would think your pipes are made of asbestos cement? So they're out of sight, out of mind. In Winnipeg, there are over 700 kilometers of these pipes, and in a 10-year period, over 1,000 breaks. Hello, how are you? And I'm Rana Bakari, I'm running for mayor. We're just out the Winnipeg morning. lawyer Rana Bakari is concerned. During her run for mayor in the fall of 2022, she made asbestos cement pipes one of her platforms. So do you remember those days when they used to use asbestos cement for water pipes? No, sorry, I didn't know that. They did, in this area. Did they? Yes. Oh. One report from the 1980s showed many parts of Canada did have asbestos in drinking water, including Winnipeg. But in the 90s, the city stopped testing. Bakari wants to know if it's still in the water today. 
people will say, well, this is not an immediate issue. But I would remind people that uh, asbestos has a 40 year latency period. So people who are drinking it now will affect them 40 years from now. So why would we not just do the testing? Bakari wrote to the federal infrastructure minister asking to make asbestos cement pipes a top national priority. She says she's never received a response. The federal government is completely failing. They've failed at it, um, and now that they have that information and they're still choosing to not take action on it um, is, is egregious. The city of Winnipeg and the federal government won't test for asbestos, so we did instead. Coming up. You gotta do better. You gotta find out what's going on. Is dangerous water going untested? Do you think that these public officials are putting citizens at risk? Yes. When W5 continues. There are hundreds of thousands of kilometers of asbestos cement pipe still underground around the world. And in many places, they're failing. The San Diego County Grand Jury issued a warning about 2,100 miles of asbestos cement pipe that is worn out. Including here in Canada. One water main break near the water treatment plant Monday morning led to a nearly three-day boil water advisory that affected thousands of Brandon residents. And as they break down, there are serious concerns not just about asbestos leaching into your tap water, but what happens when you drink it. To leach into the water. In Winnipeg, where there's hundreds of kilometers of pipe. What I've been doing is just getting samples of water from people around the neighborhood. We went door to door in the fall of 2022. This is all asbestos cement pipes. To see how much asbestos was in Winnipeg's water. We took samples from six neighborhoods and sent them off to a lab that specializes in asbestos analysis. Regina is one of the few cities in Canada that has tested for asbestos. And even though there have been thousands of pipe breaks in recent decades, it has never found asbestos in its water. To our knowledge, it has never tested water after a water main break, but W5 did. While we waited for the results, we went across the border to Woodstock, New York. A town known for its legendary music festivals. But in the 1980s, it was getting national attention for a totally unrelated reason. And Tara Sullivan and its residents were in the middle of it. Some people in town, including myself, we discovered clumps of debris coming out of our faucets. Woodstock was inundated with asbestos cement pipes, and the clumps of debris coming out of their faucets, asbestos. Long-term acidic water pumping through the pipes had eroded the lining of the pipe and had basically set free this asbestos in the pipe. The levels set by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency were seven million fibers per liter. Here they were much higher. One woman believed following a shower, she was covered in blades of grass when it was actually asbestos. An advisory was issued. The town was barred from using the water for cooking or drinking. The more and more I learned about it, the more and more horrified I became. And um, I knew that I had to do something about it. Sullivan started an advocacy group with a single goal, remove all of Woodstock's AC pipes. I would imagine once elected officials or public officials learn about this problem, they were quick to act? <laughs> no. In the following months, even as asbestos levels started going down, she says local and state officials resisted their calls to remove the pipes at public hearings due to the cost. Some even called the water safe to drink. It was all about money. It was about how are we going to pay for it? So there's money and then there's politics involved. Really, yeah. it wasn't about health. Right. Health was the last thing they were thinking about. And that's when I poured glasses of water for them from my tap to drink. Did they drink it? Nobody drank it. And it was perfectly crystal clear, just like this. 
you know, they could have, but they didn't dare. They didn't dare one glass. We're talking about drinking asbestos. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about a funny taste. We're talking about lethal fiber in your water. Hello. And it was, it, it was really a turning point where they were like, mm. Months later, work had begun on replacing those problem pipes. So what about asbestos in Canadian water? We know asbestos was in drinking water in the 1980s. We wanted to know if it was still in it today. So we tested samples from two cities. The city of Regina has been doing their own tests for several years and has never found any asbestos. We took our results to former journalist turned activist, Julian Branch. And the results came back and we found roughly 370,000 asbestos fibers per liter in that water. That's right, 370,000 fibers of asbestos in a liter of water. I just want to say, I can't speak on behalf of all of Regina residents, but um, personally, I'm really, really sorry to hear that. It's exactly what I wanted to prevent all these years. I, you know, it's, I'm sorry, but it's infuriating. Months earlier, the city of Regina told us this massive water main break, where we got our sample, was the result of an asbestos cement pipe failure. But just before our interview, we were told they had given us the wrong information and that it was another type of material. It still didn't account for how W5's test found asbestos in tap water. There seems to be a discrepancy, right? The city of Regina has done a number of testing, a number of tests over the years, found no asbestos. We find 370,000 fibers per liter. Help me square that. Curtis Doney is the director of Water, Waste and Environment at the City of Regina. So the City of Regina has tested for asbestos in drinking water since 2016 and increased that testing in 2020. To date, we have not found any asbestos fibers in the drinking water. We asked repeatedly over the course of our 20-minute interview why there was a discrepancy, but he only stuck to his talking points. You're not acknowledging the test that we did, and I'm just trying to get a sense of why? To date, we have not found any asbestos fibers, and Health Canada has clearly stated that there's no concerns with asbestos fibers in the drinking water. But we've clearly found asbestos in the water. So the City of Regina will continue to test for asbestos fibers in the drinking water. In recent years, global attitudes have been shifting, and despite claiming there is no conclusive connection between ingestion and cancer, the World Health Organization is advising for more investigative monitoring of water coming through asbestos cement pipes. The European Union went even further, saying asbestos cement pipes should no longer be used for drinking water, advocating for their removal. Is the city of Regina going to make it a priority to remove all these pipes from the city? And so we have about 530 kilometers of asbestos cement water mains. Uh, so the city of Regina currently replaces about 10 kilometers per year of water mains that have a high break rate. 10 kilometers a year, that's 50 years, if I'm correct. Um, to me, that's a lot of future pipe breaks. That's a lot of potential exposure to asbestos in the water. So the city of Regina will continue to replace uh, pipes that have a high break rate, and that will ensure that the, wa the water is reliable for the city of Regina residents. If I were a Regina resident, I would be going ballistic right now. And your message to city officials in Regina? You gotta do better. You gotta find out what's going on because your people should not be drinking this water. And what about Winnipeg? Remember, the city stopped testing in the 90s despite finding asbestos in the water. Hi. Hey. How you doing? I'm okay, how are you? Lawyer Rana Bakari made testing for asbestos a central platform in her unsuccessful run for mayor in the fall of 2022. We revealed our results to her. We took those water samples from Winnipeg and uh, we got those results back and some of those samples showed about 60,000 fibers per liter. To say it's alarming is, is kind of an understatement. Decades after Winnipeg stopped testing, 
asbestos was still in the city's water. Any fibers should be a problem. If you live in a home for 40 years and you are turning on that tap every single day and drinking half a cup of water every day, every single day you're ingesting fibers. In response to our findings, the city of Winnipeg said it's not required to test for asbestos in water and that previous testing in the 90s ended because the city met all national and international standards. It's the same government, it's the same people who are telling you not to inhale it, um, but somehow it's okay for us to drink thousands of fibers. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. I think it's very careless, is what I think. Do you think that these public officials are putting citizens at risk? Yes. Asbestos expert, Arthur Frank. It is truly inappropriate for government officials to sort of poo-poo these kinds of results and not acknowledge that, well, maybe we really do have a problem. But, but again, politicians don't go looking for things. They go look to get rid of problems. They really ought to undertake a more reasonable, rational, regular, more widespread testing methodology of their water supply. Health Canada told W5 it would continue reviewing new and emerging scientific data and, if necessary, would consider setting limits to asbestos in water. Meanwhile, the Department of Infrastructure said it was up to the provinces and municipalities how water improvement projects are prioritized. There's a complete and utter lack of political accountability here, and that, I find, is extremely frustrating. Julian believes the lack of urgency on the issue will end up costing Canadians. Until asbestos is regulated in Canadian water, Canadians should be very concerned about their drinking water. But it's up to the politicians today to find a solution. We can't just keep pretending it's not there. We have to find a solution to this before it's too late. If you want to find out whether your drinking water is delivered by asbestos pipes, go to our website, w5.ctvnews.ca.